What properties should the ideal treatment for schizophrenia have? This treatment should be able to target the core features, positive, negative and cognitive symptoms. Current drugs such as antipsychotics are suboptimal treatments. They don't target negative symptoms and cognitive deficits enough to have an impact in functional outcome. Researchers are working on the development of drugs that target specifically these two dimensions. These agents would be used as adjunctive treatments to antipsychotics. So, what are the treatments we do have available today? First-generation antipsychotics, also known as typical or conventional antipsychotics, are effective in the treatment of positive symptoms of schizophrenia. Their effectiveness versus placebo has been proven in several clinical trials. These medications allow patients to enter remission of psychotic episodes by reducing or eliminating positive symptoms such as hallucinations or, and delusions. It is common that negative symptoms and cognitive deficits uh, remain. This has a strong impact in outcome. As we discussed in other videos, second and first generation antipsychotics differ in their side effects profile. Second generation antipsychotics have a lower risk of producing extrapyramidal symptoms, but they are associated with weight gain and related metabolic effects. Clinical trials have shown that this class is effective for the treatment of positive symptoms. Some meta-analyses have demonstrated superior efficacy with regard to positive and negative symptoms. However, recent studies focused on effectiveness instead of efficacy have raised concerns about the clinical meaningfulness of these modest advantages.